Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm rolling solo dolo on this Madden 20 deconstruction and relocation. This time we're doing the Arizona Cardinals. I did a few of these last year uh, for a few different teams. Basically what I'm going to do here is completely deconstruct this team. Uh, trade away all their old guys, cut anybody who doesn't uh, get traded for, and then I will relocate them to a new city, and then I will take over the team and move forward. Uh, when I play the games, my co-host TNT Dynamite will be here with me. To be honest, he just doesn't give a crap about this sort of stuff. He He's not a big Madden guy anyway, so it's just me on these videos. Uh, so basically, I mean... I'm going to just full disclaimer here. We are going with the Austin Desperados again. We had a great franchise with the Austin Desperados last year. I want to continue it on, but we are going to go ahead and do the deconstruction now. Uh, so the first thing I go ahead and do is I want to go to the owner, go down to stadium, and set the team to be relocated. All right, so we're going to do that. Boom. Later. All right, so we started the relocation process. So what we're going to do now is go to the team. Anybody over 30, actually probably 29 and up, I'm going to put on the trade block immediately. So what by doing this, um, you know, I do have some people, you know, here like Patrick Peterson, uh, David, David John. Oh, hold on a second. What did I do here? Actually, I'm going to trade David Johnson anyways because I don't want to keep him on the team. So that's fine. I'll see who I can get for him. Uh, age. Let's sort by age. There we go. All right. So my punter. I mean, anybody I can't trade something for, I am going to just cut. Because uh, I want to start the team off young, and then we will just keep going through and see what, and see what we got here. So as you can see, uh, the Arizona Cardinals have a lot of old players. Um, some of these guys are not going to get traded for. I can guarantee it. But I will go ahead and take, usually what I do is take whatever the best draft pick is uh, that they offer me, uh, and, and we'll go from there. So usually usually you get some, some somewhat okay things. And then once we get through everything, we get the team, we get the uniform set, all that stuff, then I just will simulate it through the rest of the season. And then the next video will be the off-season leading into our inaugural Austin Desperados season. And then we'll start playing through the games and see if we can uh, do any good with a team that, to be honest, isn't going to be very good stat-wise in, in the game. So um, what else I'm going to do, too, is anybody with a giant contract that I don't want, I'm going to put them on the trade block as well uh, because I'm trying to get the team down streamlined down uh, so I have cap room so I can pick up free agents and so I can not have any like old guys clogging up the system so all right so we are going to go and go to the trade block here all right we got all those guys and then next thing I'm going to do is going to go to salaries uh, and check and see who is the highest paid person on my team uh, for this season all right these guys are already uh, it's my left tackle but he's not very good and it's his last season so 72 overall, dude. All right. If I can get something for you, I will take uh, you'll get it. I mean, I'm not going to have him after this year anyway. I wouldn't re-sign him probably. So he's on the trade block. Now, okay. Here's here's where I'm at with the Cardinals. Kyle Murray is their number 1 overall pick. I like having players that are just and just random guys. So I'm going to put him on the trade block and see what I can get for him cuz he's not I mean, he's only 73 overall. It's not like he's rated that good anyway. Um, all right, let's see here. He's on the trade block, trade block, trade block. He's his last season. So I might as well trade him too. He's 28 anyway. So I will trade a ton of these dudes away. We will have basically nobody left on the team. Uh, so yeah, anybody, yeah, anybody who's left, it will be fine with contracts. So, all right, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and advance the first week. I set it to, uh, simulate training. So I don't do the training. And we will go in to the next week and see what offers we got for some of these guys. All right. So we'll go down. Ooh, who we got? Pa Peterson. What are we, what are we going to get for Patrick Peterson? Nothing, probably. All right. So we got a second and a seventh, a second, a sixth, and a seventh, second, fifth, second, fourth, 
second, fifth. Oh, a first round. New England will give me a firsty next year. Um, anybody else giving up a first? Because I will take a first, even if it's a next year first from the Patriots, who are going to be good. That's better than any second round pick. So, all right. I'll take a firsty the following season. So this is like the season after next. That'll help me out in year two. So I'm going to try to keep most other things in this current season so I can draft guys. Uh, let's see here. Third and second and sixth. That's in two years, though. Does anybody give... There's some second seconds. Every, everything wants to be for the year after this. I kind of want something. I mean, come on, guys. All right. Uh, two, six, two, five, seven. All right. Two, five, seven it is. All right, Saints, let's go. All right, bye-bye, guy. All right, we're going to go down here. Who is next? M. Gilbert, 31 years old. Ooh, second. Everybody's trading. Everybody's trading picks for the year after next. So second, fifth, seventh. All right, there's that. Second, fifth, seventh. All right, so so far the Chargers are winning. Yeah, I believe the Chargers are going to win now. All right, that's cool. I'll turn to the Chargers. That's fine. They always end up choking anyways, right? So we'll go down. Let's see who we got next. Uh, Chandler Jones. Will you, what are you getting for me? 2-6. Why are all, all of these picks are for the year after next? Whew. All right. I'm going to have to really do some. Oh, there's a third. But why would I take a third when I can get a second? Two five seven. All right, there we go. All right, man. Next year's draft is going to be freaking loaded with picks. So I'm gonna have to do a lot of free agent signing, I guess, this time, and uh, go from there. So, all right, what do we got next? David Johnson. All right, dude. He's he's really good, right? I mean, well, he gets hurt, but third round picks. That is funny. Um, you know, I'm gonna wait. A week and see if somebody else gives an offer for him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go advance the week to the next week. Uh, let me go in here and upgrade these players real fast. Jordan Hicks, you're staying around, buddy. All right, we'll get make you this. Get you back. All right. All right, get you better. Andy is a... We'll just simulate all the rest of those. That's fine. All right, cool. We will advance the week to the following week. See if we got any more trade offers for any of these people on our team. Boom. Brooks Reed, dude, what do you got? You're 32, you're 77 overall. I'm thinking the third. Fourth? Oh, yeah, 366. Fourth. I'll, hey, man. All right, I'll take it. I'll take it, man. If you're going to give me a third-round pick for a 32-year-old guy who's not even rated 80, you got it. All right, David Johnson. Did you get more offers? Or are we going to have to go with trash? Oh, God, now it's just one offer. Holy crap. All right, I'll take a third, dude. Fine, whatever. Take him. Washington, you're welcome. Because at least that's a this year pick. So, all right. So, we will go ahead and upgrade players again. Kyler Murray. See, nobody even wants to trade for Kyler Murray. So, he may end up on my team. I'm going to make him strong arm. I'll keep him, I guess, if I have to, right? I mean, I don't care. I mean, he's he's probably going to be good in the game. That's my, that's my guess. All right. So, we're going to go ahead and upgrade all these dudes because they're all trash. All right. We'll go down. We will advance the week. And we will go the next week and see who else we can trade for so oh i gotta cut 14 players uh any more trade offers all right uh we have c peters oh god Corey peters what are you gonna what are you gonna get for me third third five seven third five at least another third this year so i'll take that thanks Corey peters for your service uh we will upgrade players uh oh cool christian kirk's here let's see what you got uh we're gonna make him a deep threat he's getting better all right, let's see here. And then this is a cornerback, so let's work on him because he's probably going to stay around. Boom. So, all right, cool. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do now, uh, since we are at the end of the preseason, basically, le leading into, what is this, week four? Leading into week four, I'm going to go ahead and take a break. I am going to cut down players on my team to get me under so they don't cut random players. And then I will... I may try to trade for some people, something like that. I will give you some updates. Next thing that will really be in the video will be when we choose the team and the uniform and all that. So I will be right 
back. All right, I have a quick little update. I was able to make a quick trade, manual trade. I traded to the Browns, Terrell Suggs, and R. Alford. He's a 30-year-old uh, cornerback I was just trying to get rid of for their second-round pick coming up in this current year's draft, which helps me out tremendously. So I will go ahead and keep trying to do some trades. If I have any updates for you before we move forward, I'll put them in the video. All right, one more update. I was able to trade my tight end, uh, Charles Clay, to the Cowboys for a second-round pick. So there we go. Uh, two second round pick. That'll give me three total second round picks this next year, which will be great. So as I said, if I have any more updates, I'll get them included here in a second. Okay. And one final trade. I was able to finally trade Larry Johnson. There was only one team who wanted him at all. It was the bills and I got a fourth round pick for him. So, Hey, at least I was able to get rid of the rest of the old guys. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and move forward, uh, cut any remaining 30 year old guy and fill my roster accordingly so I have a full roster, and then the next thing will be when we uh, get to choose relocation. So I will be right back. Okay, everybody, before I get rolling into uh, simulating up into the point where we get to choose our new city, I did want to show you the team that's left over that's going to try to get as many wins as we can. It's going to start us to the next horizon uh, we got 69 defense, 69, 62 offense, or one offense, and 62 overall. So here is the depth chart. It is not a good-looking set of folks. So basically, Kyler Murray's going to stay in. The running back, 72, TJ Logan. Uh, this is the only 30-year-old man left on the team, Nick Ballore. He was the only blocking fullback available. Uh, wide receivers, we, only have, uh, we got Christian Kirk. Andy Isabella and Hakeem Butler, who are all rookies. Uh, tight end, let's see, Max Williams. And then I'm just going to flip through these quick because everybody's trash. Humphreys, I got 67 overall, 66 overall, 64, 63. It's going to be an ugly season. 69 overall, the right end. Do we have any? He's a 70. Woo! I got a couple 28 year old, 72 overall. Lineman. Oh, we have a 72 overall linebacker. Oh, 81. There we go. Jordan Hicks, the star of the team. Uh, right outside linebacker. Yeah, I mean, he's still trash. What we got? Oh, we have two cornerbacks, 75 or higher. All right. And then, uh, oh, an 80 overall. Uh, Buda Baker, free safety. Uh, strong safety. Yeah, man. Kicker. Zay Gonzalez. Whew. It is not going to be an easy season. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and get to the point where I can uh, choose the team. So I will be all right back on the video. All right. And here we are sitting at week five and we are able to start the relocation process. So uh, as you can see, we're on four because I'm not, I'm not even shocked. The team is very, very bad. Um, so I'll go ahead and start the relocation process. We'll view the available cities. I'm going to show you all the cities. Uh, we got London, Vegas. San Diego, St. Louis, Oklahoma City, Houston, Dublin, Austin, Portland, Columbus, Sacramento, Chicago, Memphis, Brooklyn, Salt Lake City, Orlando, San Antonio, Toronto, Mexico City, and then back to London. All right, I'm going to do Austin again. Because this is the intro to the brand new franchise of the Austin uh, Desperados. So we'll go ahead and pick them. All right. And we will go ahead and advance the week. And now it is time to choose the name. So we'll go in there. The choices are keeping the Cardinals, the Armadillos, the Bats, or the Desperados. So... They are definitely where we need to go. So we're going to go with the Desperados. Uh, what I'm going to do real quick is go ahead and scout players, upgrade players. I got Cetra. Oh, my God. We won our first game. I feel bad for whoever we beat. But uh, I'll get us ready to where we can pick our uniforms and the stadium. And after that, I will be right back. All right. Now it's time to pick our uniform. So let's go ahead and go in here and do this. All right. Uh, I don't. I don't really like those. No, 10%. Yeah. All right. Then there's those ones. And then there's those ones. I like... I like the black... I don't like the gray helmets, man. I like the black helmets. 
and the white pants. Ooh, which ones? I think those are new uniforms. Those those don't look familiar from what they were last year. I like the black helmet. Oh, those are you know what? I don't know. I think I think that's gonna be the winner. So I'm gonna go with this one. All right, and then what we'll do is advance the week. Go the next week. We'll pick our stadium. Let's get this stadium picked. All right, what do we want? We want the traditional, the sphere, the hybrid, the futuristic, or the canopy. I think this year we are going to go with a futuristic stadium. So let's go ahead and do that. That's great, and let's get rolling. So, all right, everybody, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to simulate this out to the end of the season uh, where uh, it gets to the point where I'm gonna, I can fire the coach and all that sort of stuff, and uh, we'll go from there. So I will be right back okay everybody here we are at the end of the seat the regular season i'm able to uh resign staff which basically means i'm gonna fire everybody we were uh one in 15 hey we got one we didn't go the offer all right so we'll go in here to resign staff we're gonna start our re staff signing our coach is going to be fired out you go friend yes uh, who is this? This is our scout. Um, actually, he didn't do half bad, but uh, that's fine. I don't need wide receiver overall. I'd prefer something else. So we'll go ahead and fire him, and we'll fire him. We're going to start fresh, anew, all good to go. So let's go ahead and advance the week. I think we can start re-signing staff now, or we're gonna, we're, we'll get a chance to try to hire some people now. Uh, let's see here. Next week. All right, hire staff. All right, let's see here. Who are we going to try to hire? Uh, our coach, let's see here. I would like, let's see, I want to do a, no, vertical zone run. Anybody, there we go. This guy, the guy who I just, <laughs> who I just fired has the exact scheme that I want to run, a vertical zone run and base three, four. Uh... <laughs> why don't we all right cool we will hire him back that actually no we're not that's fine i can pick whatever i want uh let's see he has any of these guys have any oh look, look at this expert scouting oh dude matt patricia i got you man multiple zone run three four under yeah dude we will offer you we'll offer you a little bit of money we'll give you four years too how about that submit scouts uh, let's see. Running back overall. That's one thing that we do need. QB. I mean, I don't need a quarterback because I have Murray. But, you know, let's see here. This guy's quarterback specialty. Wide receiver. We need, I mean, we need a good Moose Bacotti. He has his specialty is tight end overall. We're going to need a tight end. And a tight end's pretty big in our offense here. We'll go with Moose. Love you, Moose. Uh, and then trainers. All right. So world class, world class, world class, world class. Good. All right. So we'll go with uh, Ryan Glikowski because we need world class. Good. All right. So let's go ahead and advance the week and see if uh, anybody signed. Our right, trainer hired scout. All right. We'll go to. It didn't give me the option. All right. Great. Uh, so we'll go here. We'll go to next week. Hire staff. I guess my, I guess the coach didn't want to play. Dun, 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 dun. Achieve rookie of the year. So I guess, uh, I guess I know what happened. Oh, he's still, he's still thinking about it. How about we make it a little sweeter for you then? We'll give you 3.1. I don't know what to tell you because I need you to sign. <laughs> All right. Good deal. Uh, he's still considering our offer. Uh, and then I will go ahead and just scout some players real fast uh, before I advance because I need to – I need to uh, – I'm just going to go down and scout the guys who fit our system. Um, I'm hoping that that guy signs because I want him to. 
because he has those bonus traits to give me extra stuff. What the heck? Nobody fits. Oh, nobody fits my scheme. Ha ha ha. All right. Good deal. So we'll just start. We'll start. We'll do late round picks. How about that? We'll start in the fifth round and just go start with, uh, we'll do some ends. All right. We'll do uh, some middle linebackers because we need those. We'll do right ends. I didn't realize that I don't have a scheme fit because I don't have a coach at the moment. Isn't that funny? All right, so uh, we will go and advance the week. This will take us into the off season, which will give me a billion people to try to resign. So 33 players. All right, we got Matt Patricia. He has the bonus. Look at him. He's all rugged. And we are now the Desperados. So what I will go ahead and do now is go ahead and go through and show you guys the stats of our team and things like that from this past season uh, before we go ahead and wrap this up. So let's see how the team did, right? You know, before everybody gets let go, Kyle Murray in his rookie year, 3,200 yards, 18 touchdowns, 18 interceptions. It's not very good, but I bet you he was rookie of the year. I will check that in a minute. Rushing, oh my God. Our entire team had 680 rushing yards for the entire season. We need a running back bad. That's, I mean, obviously. Uh, receiving, how'd we do? All right, Andy Isabella. Look at this guy. 1,000 yards, six touchdowns. I mean, for, on a crappy team. Kirk, Williams, and Butler. Everybody was pretty even other than Andy Isabella stood out. So it looks like I'm hoping maybe I'll keep him around. Hopefully I got him for a couple weeks. Blocking. Let's see how many sacks we gave up. Oh, my God. Holy crap. 36, 45, 52 sacks over 16 games. That is more than four sacks a game. Our line was bad. Poor Kyle Murray was running for his freaking life, dude. No, word. no wonder. All right. So we got, let's see, tackles, obviously. Okay, cool. Reddick and uh, Hicks. All right, dude. The two middle line. <laughs> it's kind of sad that my cornerback had a lot. But, you know, hey, let's Anybody have any sacks? We have any sack lead? It's three sacks, dude. Our line is trash. Interceptions, two. And they're, oh my God. And it, oh God. Okay, bad, bad, bad. Uh, how many deflect? Anybody do any good deflections? Five, okay. Catches allowed. Holy jeez. Look how trash our team was there. Oh my God, dude. Kicking. How, how'd we do, Zane? Oh my God, buddy. Oh, goodness. You hit a 57, so that means you got some leg. You're just, oh, God, I'm going to have to work on that. Punting. Our punter actually wasn't half bad. All right. Okay. Kick returns. No touchdowns. Punt returns. Nothing. Seven, seven yards. That's not bad. All right. Let's go to the awards. We'll go to the yearly awards. Who was the MVP of the league? Philip freaking Rivers. Are you kidding me? All right. Cool. All right. And then who was coach of the year? Me? Jay Gruden. All right, the Redskins went 12-4. and four. Look at that. All right, let's go to the AFC Offensive Player of the Year. And we are in the NFC, so we're going to look at the NFC. All right, so Cardinals. Nobody listed. All right, so running backs dominated in, the, in there. All right, we'll go to Defensive Player of the Year. Yeah, dude, nobody. Nobody on my team. My team's trash. Offensive Rookie of the Year. Boom. Oh, look at, look at this. Three. Kyler Murray, Andy Isabella, dude, that dude rocked it, and Hakeem Butler, who is, I think he's a, I think he's a wide receiver too. Look at that. So my wide receivers are creeping up on a come up. Maybe I don't need his wide receivers as much as I thought. Defensive rookie of the year, boom, another good guy. Byron Murphy, and who's this? Zach Allen. All right, man. So some of my rookies are decent. They're creeping on a come up. Best QB. Are we listed? No, Kyler Murray's not. Just rookie of the year. Best running back. Nope. Wide receiver? Nope. Lineman? I would sure as heck hope not with all those sacks. Lineman? Nope. Holy crap, man. Yeah, no wonder we only won one game, friends. Nobody on my team is best at anything. So there was that. Uh, let me go ahead and look at who won the Super Bowl. Let's, let's look at that. So we'll look at the schedule. We will go with the league schedule, and we will go all the way to the... We'll start with the wildcard games. So it was, uh, let's see, Indianapolis beat Tennessee. The Rams beat the Saints. Cleveland made the playoffs and beat the Chiefs. 
Uh, Green Bay beat Washington. All right, cool. Then we'll go to the divisional. Cleveland beat Baltimore. Cleveland AFC Championship game. You kidding me? All right. I like it. I mean, that's great. Uh, Atlanta won. Indianapolis beat New England. That's sad. And Dallas beat the Rams. So the championship games, Cleveland lost in the championship game. Hey, I'll take that to the Colts. And then Dallas won. So it was the Colts and the Cowboys who won the Super Bowl. The Colts won the Super Bowl, folks. All right, cool. All right, so there is that. Uh, let's see if there's anything else. I do want to show you guys the final roster uh, because I have a ton of dude, 33 of these players out of 75. I mean, because that has all the practice squads. So there's only 42 players that will be left at, unless I sign some of these other guys. Uh, honestly, I don't think there's many players I'm going to sign. I'll do that uh, here before I start this offseason video. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at the team. One last look at the final season of the Arizona Cardinals and see how players evolved because a lot of the players were very, very bad. Look, I didn't have any players in the 80s. So now I have like five. So that's good. So the QB, Kyler Murray, he's got up. I mean, he's came up a little bit. He's 78 now. Halfbacks, whoo. These dudes are trash. That's like my number one thing. Because if I'm going to actually play the team, I need to have a running back that can at least do something. Uh, so let's see. Fullback. Yeah, he got worse. No no, no joke. Uh, wide receivers. My wide receivers came up, dude. Like 80, 80, 75. I think they were, what was it? 77, 75, 72. So they all gained a few. Andy Isabella went up quite a bit. So... At least these two dudes are going to be around for a bit. That guy, yeah, that guy too. So at least I got a little core of wide receivers here. Tight ends, 79-78. Uh, Both of these guys are free agents, and I'm probably going to let them walk because I'd rather just have a fresh face, to be honest. Uh, oh, God. Yeah, our line, 74 line, 69. Oh, God, dude. I really, really, really need to focus on line. Bad. Because if I'm going to play and I'm getting chased around like crazy, it's not going to make it great for me. So now we're up to a 70 on our line. And a 72 and 72. None of those guys really got any better. My linebackers are still garbage. But these guys, look at this. Hicks and Reddick, dude. They are gonna be my they're gonna be my uh, middle linebacking guys for a while. We're also linebacker. Oh, look at LFR. I think I picked him up as a free agent, so I may have to re-sign him, and he probably is gonna want a trillion dollars. So we'll see. All right, cornerbacks. Byron Murphy came up, dude, as a rookie. I can dig it. I will hopefully have him, excuse me, for a little while. Jones, I mean, he'll be here for a bit. And that dude's even a 74. I mean, I can't complain. Free safety. Buda Baker is up to an 82. He'll be around for a little bit, probably. Strong safety. Kindred, I think I picked him up as a free agent. So I probably have to re-sign him. I think both of these guys maybe were. We'll see. I'll take a look. Kicker, Zane, you got a little better, buddy. You're up to a 67. My punter, dude, he's up to a 72. Go Johnny Townsend. I think I got to re-sign him, too. So draft picks, where are we at? We got the number one overall pick, which is good. We have, we have, and then we have two late picks in the second round. Uh, we have an early third, which is ours, and then two later picks. So, I mean, we have how many picks in the first hundred? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then 103, nine. So nine picks in the first 103. Hopefully we can get some depth on our team and everything like that. So... All right, everybody, that is all the time we have for the deconstruction of the Arizona Cardinals into the Austin Desperados. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Um, we have tons of content on our channel. Please check the playlist tab for all of our different videos, our different Madden content, all my videos with my co-host, TNT Dynamite. Leave some comments. Let me know what you like. See what you want to do different. I'm very open to suggestion, and uh, I love getting back to you guys. So, But for Jonas... I'll catch you next week in the next video for the offseason building this team for the first season. But for now, I am...